Chrome extensions are an excellent way for software developers to enhance a website or web app's core offering. With just a little bit of creative thinking, you can develop a popular Chrome extension and make yourself a decent chunk of change too. That's what I did. I created several Chrome extensions for a niche user base that I built up to a point where I could quit my crappy corporate day job and I then scaled them up and eventually sold the apps in a life-changing cash lump sum exit. So in this video, we'll have a look at some of the benefits of developing Chrome extensions. And we'll start with benefit number one, which is the obvious one. You can make money from Chrome extensions. So first and foremost, developing Chrome extensions can be quite profitable. If you can develop a popular Chrome extension, you can make money through advertising or premium features or simple subscription income. So one of the great things about Chrome extensions is that you can build them once and then sell them to many people. You can charge a one-off fee or even better, a recurring monthly or annual subscription. In my case, I decided to sell my Chrome extensions via a SaaS model monthly recurring subscription plan with an annual membership option too, where they get two months free. Uh, I've also offered my Chrome extensions as one-time lifetime purchases as well, ranging from $9.99 to $699. And yet, you heard that correctly, people have actually paid almost $700 for one of my Chrome extensions. Uh, but that said, the lump sum payment I received when I eventually sold and exited from my Chrome extension business was even more than the uh, total of my app subscription income. So. You can't be sleeping on this Chrome extension opportunity. It's a great opportunity to, to monetize your software development skills. Benefit number two, uh, improve your development skills. So building Chrome extensions is a great way to improve those tech skills. It requires a reasonable understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But if you're able to successfully develop a Chrome extension, it'll look good on your resume. Uh, and you can also use Chrome extension development as a way to learn new development frameworks and libraries. So for example, you can build a Chrome extension using a framework such as React, Vue, or Angular. Uh, so you become more familiar with it. Uh, you could then use that in your day job. My extensions were generally built using AngularJS, mainly because I had experience in it and prioritize faster delivery than experimenting with new frameworks. But it's up to you if you want to use this as a, a development sandbox where you can learn new tech skills. So benefit number three is the ability to reach a huge audience. So for some perspective, there are 3.6 million apps in the Apple App Store, which has an audience of around 1 billion users. When it comes to Chrome, the contrast is striking. The audience is enormous at 3.2 billion users, but critically, there are only 200,000 Chrome extensions in the Chrome Store. And that works out as a potential of just 277 users per iOS app compared to a massive 16,000 users per Chrome extension. Therefore, in my opinion, the Chrome Web Store offers a much greater opportunity than the iPhone App Store because there are far fewer apps per user. It's far less saturated. Add to that that you can also then uh, make that extension available in other browsers, app stores as well, such as Edge, Mozilla, uh, and Opera, uh, and you've got yourself a much bigger target audience per app. So just before we go into the next benefit, if you want the inside scoop on how to build, test, publish, and promote a profitable Chrome extension, then download my free PDF quick start guide on developing Chrome extensions from the link in the description below. So on to benefit number four, which is portable to other browser stores. So when you develop a Chrome extension, you're not just restricted to the Chrome Web Store. You can also port your extension to other browsers such as Opera, Edge, and Firefox. And while the number of users on these other browsers is significantly lower than Chrome, it's still an option worth considering, especially due to the browser extension standardization efforts of the W3C. It's now possible to write a single extension that can be installed across all major browsers with just a few minor changes. So benefit number five, our final benefit is basically the low running costs associated with Chrome extensions. So uh, they run locally or client side, which in turn means that there's very little server maintenance and costs to worry about. Well, it doesn't mean that developing Chrome extensions is 100% free. It does mean that the costs are significantly lower than developing server-based apps. So in my Chrome extensions, I hosted the user's data within their own private Airtable base which is on the free tier 99% of the time. And therefore the monthly server costs were negligible compared to the costs of provisioning and maintaining multiple backend servers. 
All right, there are the benefits of developing Chrome extensions. It can be profitable skill building and audience expanding work. And if you're interested in getting started with developing Chrome extensions, I've put together a free quick start PDF guide you can download right now. The link is in the description below. And finally, I have a ton of Chrome extension development content planned. So make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. And as ever, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, then please leave them in the comments below. And that's it from me. Cheers for now.